As a kid, traveling on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge was always a favorite. I remember entering the tunnel felt like traveling to a different planet. I always wondered, how in the world did they build a tunnel in the middle of a bay? Well, now a similar but much longer immersed tunnel is being constructed that is set to transform European travel. I'll tell you all about this ingenious engineering project coming up. Set to be finished in 2029, the 18 kilometer Femur and Bell Tunnel will become the world's longest immersed tunnel and is set to reshape travel between Northern and Central Europe. Constructing a tunnel beneath the sea is a complex endeavor, and this project is pushing the boundaries of construction techniques. So how are engineers pulling off this magnificent feat? We'll explore the amazing ingenuity coming up, but first, let's check out our featured product spotlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Renesis RRH 62000 all-in-one integrated sensor module is designed for air quality monitoring. It includes sensors for PM, TVOC, humidity, and temperature. Its standout features include up to eight key sensor outputs detecting particle sizes from 0.3 micrometers to 10.0 micrometers. The module enables demand-controlled ventilation and HVAC systems activating only when air quality worsens. Its compact design and integration reduce BOM costs and simplify system integration. The Renesis all-in-one integrated sensor module supports I2C and UART communication and offers applications in indoor air quality monitoring, duct monitoring, building automation, and hazardous material detection. To find out more or to purchase this reliable module, head over to mauser.com or click the link in the description below. Europe's Femur and Bell Tunnel will become the world's longest immersed tunnel. Let's dive into the engineering behind this colossal undertaking. The massive tunnel segments, each an astonishing 217 meters long and weighing over 73,000 tons, are built to hold two motorway tubes, two railway tubes, and a service tube. These monumental pieces will be submerged in a 12 meter deep trench on the seabed produced in the world's largest concrete factory. Cast in gigantic molds, the 89 segments are carefully moved to the dry dock and towed into place where they're lowered to the ocean floor. Once sealed, the segments create a watertight connection topped with a protective stone layer. The sea's currents will then naturally cover it up. The journey across the Femur and Bell Tunnel will be just seven minutes by rail and 10 minutes for motorists. When finished, the tunnel will ultimately slash travel time between Copenhagen and Hamburg from four and a half hours to only two and a half hours. That will not only cut travel time, but also speed up logistics, making trips and deliveries between the cities quicker than ever. The tunnel also stands for a powerful testament to what nations can achieve through collaboration and innovation. Hey, that does it for me. To keep updated on the latest EE news, be sure to click the link on your screen and we'll see you there.